What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today we're going to be looking at how Long Barrel affects the SMGs in Black Ops 3 with a very detailed range chart that will show you guys exactly what Long Barrel does, and you can visually see this instead of just being read some numbers. Now I wanted to make this video kind of in response to a lot of the comments I've been getting on my top 5 class mistakes video that I made a little while ago, because I was saying it's almost never worth it to run Long Barrel on SMGs, and a lot of people were questioning me on that, so I wanted to give you guys a visual representation of these ranges so that you can make this decision for yourself. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so this chart that I made here is a combination of hand testing as well as the actual statistics, the hard-coded statistics from Marvel 4's stat chart, which I will leave a link to down below. So for a lot of you guys, you know exactly what a long barrel does to the SMG, but we'll go over it again here. Long barrel on SMGs only increases your minimum damage range by 25%. It has no impact whatsoever on any of the other ranges. So this means if your gun is a maximum 6 shot to kill, it only increases your 5 shot kill range, even if your gun has a 4 shot and 3 shot kill range as well. So first up, let's start it off with the CUDA. As you can see with the CUDA, we have a very short 3-shot kill range, a pretty good 4-shot kill range, and then an incredible 5-shot kill range for an SMG. Now, if you put Long Barrel on it, it only increases that 5-shot kill range. It doesn't increase the 3-shot kill range, and it doesn't increase the 4-shot kill range, which is one of the biggest misconceptions with Long Barrel on the SMGs. And this is why I say that it's never worth it to run Long Barrel on the CUDA, because it's actually hard to find a line of sight long enough to be able to challenge anybody in the six shot kill range with a CUDA. And even if you do find a line of sight that long, you're going to have to actively set yourself up to try and get a long shot there, which you're not going to be doing with an SMG. If you're actively trying to find those long lines of sight like that, you're not playing to the strengths of your gun. You should be using an assault rifle, sniper rifle, or an LMG in those scenarios. Next up, let's have a look at the VMP. And this is one where I did make a little bit of an overgeneralization. I'll admit I was wrong here, especially for competitive play. The long barrel on the VMP can be helpful because you can see there it increases that five shot kill potential by a little bit. And that's still well within the effective range of a VMP in my opinion. So yes, long barrel is going to be helping you in some situations. It's not like it's something that's helping you in every single gunfight. But every now and then it's going to save your life and get you a kill that would have otherwise been a death for you. Now I will say, if you're just playing public matches, you're not playing arena or competitive or something, I would still rather be spending a point elsewhere on my class rather than on long barrel for the VMP. Because first off, the margin of error is usually much bigger in public matches. You've generally got a wide array of skill levels. And really this small area where it's going to take you one less shot to kill most of the time, in my opinion, it just isn't needed because you either have the skill to beat that person or you don't. I mean, I'm not saying it's never ever going to help you. It's just something that I don't feel is going to be helping you as much as something else that you could be spending that point on on your class. Moving on to the Weevil, we actually have that exact same range increase. Now the Weevil does have a bigger four shot kill range than the VMP, but the five shot kill range is the same and it's also affected in the same way by Long Barrel. And it's a similar sort of story, like if you wanted to run it, sure, go for it. But the chances of it helping you in a lot of situations, it's pretty small. So personally, I still stay away from Long Barrel on the Weevil. Also, the Weevil is not typically going to be used in competitive play. So it's really only a public match gun. And most of the time, I just don't see it really helping you that much compared to other attachments like the Stock or Quick Draw or Foregrip or Rapid Fire. There's tons of other attachments that I feel are much more valuable for the Weevil. Moving on to the Vesper, you can see this one has pretty considerably smaller range compared to the other SMGs in the game. And therefore that really small number increased by 25% is a very small margin. So it doesn't actually increase the range that much. Plus the biggest thing to consider with the Vesper is the rate of fire is so ridiculously high that the difference in time to kill between 5 and 6 shots is almost negligible. It's not going to be helping you that much. And the final thing to consider with the Vesper is since it's been nerfed so hard, challenging anything beyond this range is going to be very difficult as it is because the gun is so inaccurate. It has so much recoil. So I would say, hands down, it's not worth it to run long barrel on the Vesper. Moving on to the Pharaoh, again, the five shot kill range is the only range that's changed. And it is changed by quite a bit because it's a large number increased by 25%. But a big thing to consider is it's a four round burst SMG. So therefore, at this range, it's still going to be a two burst kill assuming you hit all your shots. 
So yes, it might help you in some situations where you miss just the right number of shots within a couple bursts or something, but it doesn't increase your one burst kill potential at all, and technically it doesn't increase your two burst kill potential at all either. So really, long barrel on the Pharaoh, again, I feel like it's a completely wasted point. Next up, let's move on to the Razorback. And again, I did make a mistake in that top five class mistakes video. I said it might be worth running long barrel on the Razorback. I was wrong. It's absolutely not worth running a uh, long barrel on the Razorback. As you can see here, you can only see the four and five shot kill range on this chart. It does technically drop off to a six shot kill, but that six shot kill is 70 meters. I'm not even sure if there is a line of sight in this game that is 70 meters long. You can go on any map you want and you'll be really hard pressed to find a 70 meter line of sight. So in the case of the Razorback, it's inarguably a completely wasted attachment to use long barrel. Now finally we have the HG40 which is a supply drop gun so most people don't even have this. I don't have it myself but I still did the range comparison here with and without long barrel. And for this gun, I do stand behind long barrel. I would say that long barrel is definitely worth it on the HG40. And the simple reason for this is it's the only SMG in the game that doesn't have a six shot kill range. It'll take a maximum of five shots to kill. And therefore the range that's impacted by long barrel is its four shot kill range, which is a good thing. So with this one, you can actually increase that four shot kill potential pretty noticeably as well, as you can see there. And that means it's going to be either a three or four shot kill in pretty much any gunfight you're going to end up challenging with this gun. So there we have it. There's the visual representation for long barrel on all of the SMGs. Now based on this chart, in my opinion, I would say it's only worth it to use long barrel on the HG40 and then arguably the VMP or the Weevil, depending on what kind of situation you're in. Everything else, I would say it's either a complete waste of a point or it's just going to be helping you in so few situations that you're just better off spending a point elsewhere on your class. Now, if you enjoyed this type of video and you'd like to see it done for some other guns as well, like the assault rifles and the shotguns, please let me know and I may do a video on those in the future. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.